So I was on my Twitter feed, just kind of scrolling around after work, and I just saw something that pissed me off to no end, and I'm not surprised by it. I'm really not. You guys know that we covered the YouTube boxing scene here, and with that, we've had our critiques, we've had our criticism, we've had our encouragement, we've had our praise for all the fighters and all the YouTubers that have gotten into this. And the person we've been the most critical of, for good reason, is Mr. Jake Paul. I don't like doing a lot of the Jake Paul stuff myself. I know you guys don't believe that, but it's true. I don't like talking about this guy, giving him any more press than he, than he already gets. I mean, he's got one of the biggest YouTube channels on the platform, but here's the deal. Everyone sees this guy as a legitimate tough guy. Jake Paul is the, the opposite of a tough guy. In fact, Jake Paul's a bully. And I just came across this video. It is Jake Paul boxing another YouTuber who, again, has no experience. And before you guys start with this bullshit in the comments, Oh, well, he got challenged. What's he supposed to do? I don't know. Maybe say no because you've had high-level training under one Sugar Shane Mosley. You fought multiple times, sparred multiple times with professionals. Should give someone that thinks above a third grade level the idea that, hey, maybe I have a responsibility not to go out and hurt people that don't do this, regardless of who challenges him for a YouTube video. But instead, Jake Paul, who is at his core a money-hungry, self-centered, YouTube view-chasing Clout King, he's going to beat the shit out of some YouTuber that's never trained, never been in a ring, for views and money. So let's watch this thing. I know it's going to piss me off. I know that. But I do want to see just how low this guy will go. Just how much of a scumbag Jake Paul is for YouTube clout and views. So like apparently the guy who bought my brother's couches is here and he has some couches or some bullshit. By the way, I finally found out who Eric Eric is. Um, I've seen some of his stuff. He makes pretty cool content. There was no reason for him to be boxing Jake Paul. Um, even if, again, it was his idea to offer it up for Jake. What the fuck is this face this guy's making? This is how Jake's inner mind looks, right? He, he might have it together on the outside. This is how his inner mind is working uh, at a snail's pace at all times. This kid doing? Oh, what's up, y'all? Eric, Shout out to Lego Mansion. Looks like they're in the Lego Mansion once again. It's the one that Jake sold. Must have crushed his dreams as a nine-year-old leaving the Lego Mansion. You guys see this Rubik's Cube here? The odds of Jake actually understanding what a Rubik's Cube is and how to solve it are very slim. It's more likely that Jake would do what he's doing to what I'm assuming is a white claw can at 8 a.m. in the morning and try to bite it in half, thinking it's actual food, to uh, to rejuvenate his drunken stupor. So right here, this is Jake's boxing coach. I want to point him out because they have this warning here, and this is the important part. All activities, stunts, and pranks are performed by trained professionals, I'm assuming meaning Mr. BJ Flores, in a controlled environment and are for entertainment purposes only. Again, do not replicate anything you see in our content at home. Jake Paul, Mr. Do as I say, not as I do, YouTuber. In other words, I create content that is at the least problematic because again, there's no morals involved in anything here. It's all about making money, getting views, and whatever happens to the person that we're doing this to at the expense of that person doesn't really matter. Now, you guys don't go do that because we know it's wrong. We know it's wrong, so we're telling you, hey, don't do it. But we're going to do it anyway. And by the way, who is this guy? This guy putting Jake's gloves on. There's no chance he's an actual part of Jake's boxing camp. Uh, he looks like an overweight dog, the bounty hunter, uh, Riff Raff, Enzo Amore wannabe with the blowout haircut. Uh, he's, got, <laughs> he's got the uh, the cropped neck beard so we can understand where his neck ends and his face starts. Who the fuck is this guy? This, this guy is 130, maybe 140 pounds soaking wet. I don't even think he knows what hand is his dominant hand, to be quite honest. He's taking a super wide stance. There's no, he's not even biting down on that mouthpiece, uh, which is basically asking for a broken jaw. Like, look at that shot, man. Come on. Yeah, of course. Lands a right hand, left hand behind it. Right hand to the body, right hand upstairs. Okay. F dude. 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 I swear to God. This guy right here, man. This fucking guy right here. Oh my God, Jake, you need your ass kicked. You 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 flat out need your ass kicked. Where's the where's the trained professional? Where's the trained professional? A immediately, this should have been stopped immediately, because this kid doesn't know how to protect himself. Obviously, there's no point in having him in there at this point. This isn't entertainment. This is a flat out beating. From this point right here, this tells me everything I need to know about Jake Paul and his team. Listen very, very closely to the people outside of the boxing ring and watch Jake Paul and his eyes and the way he moves here. This is not someone that has any self-remorse or self-control. This fucking guy right here is a scumbag and didn't need to do this in the first place and should have known at this point, right here, we're done. This kid has no chance of protecting himself. 
He has no business being in that ring, but listen to everybody outside. Listen. Uh, that's it. Do it again. Uh, do it. Finish it, bro. Do it again. Yeah, yeah, good, good. Finish it, bro. Do it again. Whose voice do you think that was? If you're having trouble, I'll, I'll enlighten you guys. It was none other than BJ Flores, his boxing coach, a professional boxing coach, the professional that was supposed to be watching over this thing and allowed Jake to batter this guy. I don't care that there's headgear on. I don't care that the air rat guy challenged him. Jake has a responsibility, one, as, as one of the biggest people on YouTube, and two, as a guy that has trained for many months, I think years at this point, versus someone that doesn't even know what stance he should be in, doesn't know how to throw a punch, to not go in there and rip his head off for a YouTube video. I, look at this, dude. Look at this egomaniac. Watch, walk, walk toward the camera like you're... What is this? Oh, shit. Look, here's the, here's the stunt double behind him, too. Jake Ball's twin making another appearance with those fucking guns. Got those 12-inch biceps to hold the camera because we know those chicken legs ain't standing up to Jake. Not anytime soon. Just be a part of the Yes Man movement. And I have no idea whose child this is and why some minor is at Jake Paul's house after a drunk night. But can we get this Toys R Us belt off him and, and get him a parent-teacher conference? And now again, the Air Act guy is orthodox because he has no idea how to stand. Jake taking it real easy, isn't he, guys? He's not in there trying to kill the guy, is he? Look, look at him run him down. Yeah, nice, nice. Congratulations, Jake. Congratulations. The guy is, is literally turning his back and running away from him. He wants no business being in there, but Jake, again, just can't help himself. Has to chase the guy down and finish him with that. Great job. Again, every single person that sat back, recorded this, and didn't have the balls to speak up, the whole lot of you, a bunch of pussies. All of you. Come on, fight, they said. Come on, fight. Dog the bounty hunter here. At least he tries to come in and stop this thing. I'm drunk. I'm drunk. Again, BJ Flores is complicit in this. What a fucking scumbag he is. Jake swinging for the fences. Look at this guy, man. Mouthpiece not even in. Jake just teeing off on a guy. Look at this. Back completely turned. But yeah, go ahead and keep throwing shots. Where are the trained professionals? Even in a sparring session, a trained professional would stop the sparring session when the opponent completely turns their back. And shows they don't want to be in there. They're not able to defend themselves at all. Oh my god, dude. I gotta show respect to Jake, man. The kid hits hard. You gotta respect it. At the same time, I jumped in the ring. Gotta respect that too. Eric, you gotta listen to me on this, man. If you think that for one second Jake Paul respects you or cares about anything that you think or do, he does not. You are a tool used to gain views. Sure, you might have got some views out of it yourself. Yeah, you came in and, and challenged Jake Paul to a boxing match. Either way, it shouldn't have happened. They don't respect you. They were beating your brains into the canvas. And had you continued to get up, he would have continued to beat you down until you suffered permanent brain damage. That's what would have happened. There was no self-respect here from their side. And I really don't think that they deserved yours. It's a flat-out con move by a bunch of pussies that Jake says he's always surrounded by. Not the girls. Not these hot women he says he's always by. But the real pussies is fucking crew. So there you have it. Jake Paul truly shows who he is. He's not a good guy. He's not. I don't care what you guys say about behind the scenes. He's so good. He is one of these guys that will convince you guys on the internet that he's a tough dude, but then turn around and box people with no experience, no business being in a ring in front of a bunch of his friends with cameras because they got to get the perfect shot of Jake doing some cool shit. But in fact, Jake is still the problematic man child that he always was. And this does nothing to get him any kind of self-respect in the combat sports game. I can guarantee you that. Ask professional boxers what they think of guys like Jake Paul. And you could say it's because of clout chasing, and you could say it because they get paid more than these guys, but at the end of the day, these fools don't care about boxing. They don't. They do things because it gets them views, it gets them money, and because they can step on people, make themselves look cool for that day, and get the social media algorithms in their favor for that day, post a cool picture on Instagram, post their video, and all you guys eat it up. This dude's an asshole. Everybody that was around him that day is an asshole for letting this happen. BJ Flores, the only professional that was there that day in a controlled environment, didn't once step in and try to stop that. In fact, he was on the sideline cheerleading with his fucking pom-poms out, going, yeah, Jake, keep fighting. Good shot. Just like it was Jake's responsibility to not use the skills he's learned, no matter if it was Joe Blow off the street challenging him to a boxing match, because he can seriously hurt somebody like that. And like I said, had this Eric guy continued to stand up, he would have seriously gotten hurt. But it's also the responsibility of the real professional, BJ Flores, the trainer of this fucking moron, to step in when enough was enough, really after the first couple of shots, and say, this is not what we're doing. 
It's a bad look. This guy's not trained, and you could seriously hurt him. Jake thinks he's untouchable in this boxing scene, and he thinks he's a legitimate tough guy, and I've got news for you guys. He is absolutely not. It's just a matter of time before someone finally shows him that everybody has their day, and his is coming.